Here we have another form of a differential equation, the form being x to the power of a, y to the power of b into m y dx plus n times x dy plus x to the power of a prime y to the power of b prime into a very similar expression like this, but m is replaced by m dashed, n is replaced by n dashed, a is replaced by a dashed and b is replaced by b dashed. So, this is another form of the equation. So, if upon inspection an equation turns out to be like this, then the integrating factor is of the type of x to the power of something and y to the power of something plotted. That means, x to the power of h, y to the power of k, where h and k have to be determined from these two equations. There are two quantities h and k to be determined. <coughs> All the others are known in a particular equation. So, the conditions are a plus h plus 1 over m must be equal to b plus k plus 1 over n and a prime plus h plus 1 over m prime is equal to b prime plus k plus 1 over n prime. So, these two equations will enable us to find the two unknowns h and k. There are two equations for two unknowns, that is fair enough. So, we will take an example which I have put right on top. Solve. 3y dx minus 2x dy plus x squared y minus 1 into this is equal to 0. If we compare this with this particular equation, we will rewrite this <coughs> in one form so that the values of a, b, m, n and all that are straight away found. <coughs> Sorry. First, let us do the comparison of the given equation that we have to solve with the standard equation. Comparing the given equation standard equation. One can say that this is nothing but 1 into 3y dx minus 2x dy. So, one can write this as x naught y naught into 3y dx minus 2x dy the next one is very explicit x to the power of 2, y to the power of minus 1, 10 y dx minus 6 x dy is 0. So, if we do that comparison with this form, we get a as 0, b as 0. So, we can write this implies the comparison implies that a is equal to b is equal to 0. First step. Now, m y dx, so m is 3, n is minus 2. A dash or a prime is 2. b prime is minus 1, m dash is 10 and n dash is minus 6. <coughs> so, these are the <coughs> results of comparing the given equation with the standard one. So, the integrating factor is x to the power of h y to the power of k which we said uh, is such that h and k have to be determined from a set of equations, a pair of equations in fact. So, we will keep the original equation and set about to find the values of h and k. So, let us rub out this part.
and this part. So opening up space for calculations. First we said A plus H plus 1 over M is equal to B plus K plus 1 over N. So, A plus H plus 1 over M must be equal to B plus K plus 1 over N. This is one equation. And the second equation is A dashed, that means 2 plus H plus 1 over M dash, M dash is 10, must be equal to B dashed, that is minus 1 plus K plus 1 over N dash, that is minus 6. So, this is the second equation. So, from here we will have to determine the values of H and K. So, we can now rub out this part. We just check once again A plus H plus 1 over M, <coughs> 0 plus H plus 1 over M is 3 is equal to B plus K plus 1 over N, that is fine. And <coughs> A dash plus H plus 1 over M dash is equal to B dash plus K plus 1 over N dash. That is fine. So, we can rub out this bottom line to create more working space. First, let us take this equation. It is very simple minus 2 into h plus 1 is equal to 3 into k plus 1. This simplifies to minus 2 into h plus 1 is equal to 3 into k plus 1. That implies minus 2 h minus 2 is equal to 3 k plus 3. We will collect the H k terms on one side and this will give an equation 3 k plus 2 H or 2 H plus 3 k is equal to minus 5. So, we will write that 2 H plus 3 k is minus 5. Upon taking the second one, we will see we will about this part take the second one. It is convenient to cancel a common factor that is 2 and write this as 5 and this is minus 3. So, we will do that straight away 5 and minus 3. Again 3 into minus 3 is minus 9 minus 3 h is equal to this will cancel 5 k. So, we have 3 h plus 5 k 3 h plus 5 k is equal to minus 9. So, these two sets of equations need to be solved and then having found h and k, our integrating factor will be x to the power of h and y to the power of k with h and k determined from these two equations. We will just finish off the last part, <coughs> rubbing out everything from, from this side to generate more working space. We will multiply this by 3 and this by 2 and write here. So,
So, that will remove the 6 h part on both sides. Multiply that by 3, we get 6 h plus 9 k is equal to minus 15. This by 2, 6 h plus 10 k is equal to minus 18. Once we subtract the upper equation from the lower one, this will annihilate and 10 k minus 9 k is k is straight away equal to minus 18 plus 15. minus 3. So, k has a value of minus 3. Substitute anywhere, if this is minus 3, then 2 h is equal to minus 14. No, minus 3. So, minus 9, 2 h is equal to 9 minus 5. Is 4 and h is So, our integrating factor is x to the power of 2, y to the power of minus 3. So, required x to the power of h, 2, x to the power of 2, y to the power of minus 3. Once the integrating factor is found, then the rest of it is uh, actually repetitive work, but nevertheless we will finish this problem because we will multiply this into the original equation and see what happens. this multiplied by the i f just found. What is it yield? x 2 y minus 3. into 3 y d x minus 2 x d y plus x to the power of 4 y to the power of minus 4 into 10 y d x minus 3. Now, we have to just collect the d x terms together and the d y terms together. So, that we have the equation put in the form m d x plus n d y with new values of m and n. So, in that sense, this is a little different. It is better to collect the dx and dy terms together. So, doing that, one can write for dx, we have 3 times x square y to the power of minus 2. And here we will have 10 times x 4 y to the power of minus 3, 10 times y to the power of minus 3 x to the power of 4. And for the dy terms, put a bracket, we have minus 2 x cubed minus 2 x cubed y minus 3 minus 2 x cubed minus 3 and a d y term here as minus 6 x to the power of 5 y minus 4.
After that, the integration way that we have discussed earlier, that means integrate with respect to x, all these terms keeping y constant or treating y constant, plus here we'll integrate such of those terms which don't contain x. But here we find that all the terms contain x, so plus 0 dy is constant. This integration I am just leaving here and the equation is taken to be solved. There is nothing uh, big in integrating polynomial terms, they are all x square, y cubed, it is all fine. So, that is the end of this problem.